Learn all about the performance dashboard in SQL Database in Fabric, this week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I'm joined by Lance Wright, a product manager on the SQL team. And today, we're talking about the performance dashboard for SQL Database in Fabric. And um, I know we're going to talk about some enhancements, but I want to get right into it and ask you, like, what is this and why should people care? Yeah, no, great to see you again, Anna. Uh, good to be on the show. Um, yeah, the performance dashboard for Fabric SQL Database. Uh, we're here to help our customers and our DBAs get the most out of their SQL Database running in Fabric. Uh, that includes, you know, improving the performance of those SQL Databases. We actually launched a, perf a performance monitoring dashboard earlier this year. And uh, as part of that dashboard experience, we provide some out of the box alerts to alert you when your CPU consumption is, is running really hot or when your allocated size is increased significantly, or if you have any blocked queries that are running in your Fabric SQL database. And then out of the box, we provide performance graphs on CPU consumption, user connections, requests per second, how many block queries per second are occurring, uh, what's the allocated size, we have information whenever we whenever we apply automated indexing. You can see that information right from within the dashboard. And then we have a whole host of query performance issues to help uh, DBAs and application developers get uh, fine-tuned insights into the overall performance of the queries that they're running against their Fabric SQL database. So it's been a pretty big hit with our customers uh, so far this year, and we're con continuing to make some enhancements in this area. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I know even like I've heard great things about this dashboard, but I'd love to know uh, what what else have you guys been working on since launch? Yeah, no, absolutely. So one of the big things that we have added uh, this year is memory consumption. There's a huge ask from our customers. You know, I always think of like memory and CPU as like two sides of the same, you know, resource utilization coin. And uh, for a little bit there, we didn't have memory consumption as part of our, our performance dashboard, but now it's there. And uh, we're excited to share it with customers. It's right there alongside all the other metrics that we allow customers to track. And um, yeah, what's really great, and we'll, we'll get into a demo here in just a second, is all of the memory consumption in Fabric SQL Database is measured at the individual queries. And so you can actually see per individual query how much memory that query is using. And uh, you know, perhaps more importantly, if you ever have a spillover event for one of your queries, Whenever your queries are spilling over it into TempDB, you'll see kind of a little red bar there that indicates, hey, you know, you ran out of uh, allocated memory for this specific query or during this specific time frame, and we can let you know how much spilled over to TempDB. So you can go in, see what queries have been running, uh, perhaps look into opportunities to optimize those queries and uh, further fine tune them, right? All kind of under this umbrella of helping our DBAs and application developers get better insights into the you know performance of not only their whole Fabric SQL database, but down to the individual query level. So you can really fine tune and uh, really optimize uh, you know performance of the Fabric SQL database. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, I love that we're just making it easier, I think, to go from insights to action. And this kind of helps you drill down on the exact query that's causing problems. Yeah, no, absolutely. But uh, maybe instead of uh, showing you some static slides, maybe let me go ahead and exit out of this presentation. And let me actually just kind of do a little bit of a, a live demo of what this looks like in Fabric SQL Database itself. Awesome. So I'm here in Fabric SQL Database. Hopefully it looks uh, very familiar to all of our viewers, right? Uh, but some people may be new to using the performance dashboard. So I do want to take a quick second and just kind of orient everyone to how you even get to the performance dashboard. Mm -hmm. So one thing to kind of keep in mind is um, you do need to be on the SQL Database option up here in the top right-hand corner. Uh, some people do get tripped up and they're on the SQL Analytics endpoint. You know, SQL Analytics endpoint is, is great. You know, we got nothing against them. But uh, unfortunately, the performance dashboard only shows up when you're actually on the SQL database itself. So that's kind of tip number one nice. that I would give to our viewers. And then uh, the performance summary, you'll see that option here on the home blade. So if you happen to be looking at the replication or the security blades or something like that, uh, go back to the home blade, you'll see the performance summary. And you can just click on the performance summary and this little sidebar will pop out. 
And here, once it kind of loads up here, you'll get a overall view of kind of the resource consumption that's going on with your Fabric SQL database. So, you know, we talked about CPU consumption. Here's the new memory consumption uh, parts of the performance summary. And you also get information on user connections, requests per second, and all the other metrics that I kind of mentioned earlier. And you get kind of the, the current metric, you know, how the metrics changed over the past 24 hours, over the last week. And then you have a little graph here to kind of give you a uh, you know, like I said, bird's eye view right. of uh, of what's going on in this uh, in this database. But um, you know, if you scroll to the bottom here, you click on any of these view more buttons, you actually get to a more detailed performance dashboard. And to get back to the editor, you just click the little uh, breadcrumb here in the top left, right? Um, but here now we're in the performance dashboard, and this view. Let's uh, let's zoom in here, just using the time interval here drop down. Let's uh, zoom in here to the previous twelve hours, just to kind of zoom in a bit. And uh, you can click on any of these charts to kind of get uh, more fine grain analysis. You can actually click on and view the data for this time interval and it'll zoom in even more, right? <laughs> to see more specific, uh, specifically what's been going on for a given interval. Uh, and down below all of the charts throughout this dashboard, you'll actually see the top consuming queries uh, and you kind of see a, a quick snippet of the query text. You can sort this by, you know, total CPU time or execution count, so on and so forth. Um, you can check any of these queries as favorite queries. And uh, I'll show you here what it looks like when you actually click on a query ID in just a second. But one thing I did want to highlight is the new memory consumption tab that we've added to this dashboard. So, you know, just like I showed in, in kind of the screen snippet in the, in the PowerPoint, here we're looking at all of the queries that have been run on my Fabric SQL database and how much memory those queries have consumed over time. And these red bars, as I mentioned earlier, these indicate memory spillover events, right? So, you know, during this particular time interval, uh, there was a number of queries. Uh, they consumed, you know, 520 uh, megabytes of memory, and we had 177 spillover to TempDB. Temp Right. And of course, you know, like I said, we could click into this and like zoom in on, on what's happened here. And then down below here, we can see all the top memory consuming queries that have happened on Fabric SQL database. And we can sort this by total memory consumed, or maybe we want to zero in on, you know, the queries that spilled over the most into TempDB. And then from here, you know, you can drill down into the e each individual query. So here we're going to drill into this query uh, number 334. Uh, you know, some of our power users might recognize this as a query that you run to actually intentionally increase uh, memory contention on your database. So this, don't try this query at home is perhaps what I'm <laughs> saying, right? You might have some upset customers or users. Um, but yeah, here you get a query preview of the query that was run. You get some information about when the query was last run, what was its last duration. Uh, you can see its execution history, compare the CPU consumption by different time intervals. So here, um, you know, we're looking at what happened uh, recently, and you can compare that over the past 12 hours. So very powerful side-by-side uh, -side comparison. And then uh, we also have the memory consumption view added here as well. So we can see uh, how much the query is consumed of normal versus memory spillover. And then maybe one of the really cool things about this kind of query view is you can just simply click this green button here at the bottom, and this query will be copied over into your database editor, right? Here it is. And you can run this query, see what results you get, or, you know, let's copy this query. And here we can access Copilot and we can have Copilot help us out, right? So we could say, hey, Copilot, tell me why this query is consuming so much memory, right? We can paste in the query, Copilot will do its thing and it'll tell us why this particular query is, is consuming so much memory. So, um, so yeah, the, the, these are uh, some of the exciting enhancements that, that we've been working on when it comes to uh, the performance dashboard. We're really excited to get uh, the memory utilization out to our customers and you know, really help to empower them to really dive deep into uh, the overall performance of their SQL database and even down to that query level. So. Awesome. This is great. I think it's great for folks who uh, maybe haven't played with the performance dashboard before, but also folks who have and are kind of looking for what's new and what's going on. You know, I have you here now, so I have to ask, like, okay. what's coming next? What are you guys doing? Oh, next? 
what's coming next with cooking. Yeah, so uh, we are working on uh, adding in more Copilot integrations into our performance dashboarding experience. Um, just having that Copilot be there by your side to help you troubleshoot performance issues, uh, help you take actions to further improve and optimize your SQL database. Uh, another thing that we're working on is integrating in with Fabric Workspace Monitoring, and that will unlock kind of more at scale visibility across your entire Fabric SQL database estates. So, you know, here we're only looking at the performance dashboard for a single database resource, but, you know, many of our customers have, you know, dozens or hundreds of Fabric SQL databases, and they need that at scale view to kind of further, uh, you know, get that, uh, you know, better visibility into their uh, entire fleet. And then I'd say the third thing that we're looking into is better integration with uh, Fabric real-time analytics. And what that will unlock for customers is kind of that stateful alert experience that our, that our, colleague, our, our colleagues on the real-time intelligence team have built out. So we're looking forward to bringing those enhancements. And uh, if there's something we're missing, we'd love to hear from, from you, our customers, on, on what we could do to further improve this experience for you. Awesome. Cool. I love it. It seems like there's a lot lined up on the roadmap that will hopefully just continue to evolve and make this a, a easier thing for customers to manage across their fleets. Um, Lance, thanks so much for joining us on the show. I learned a lot. It was great to see a live demo. Uh, for folks tuning in, uh, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. We'll put some links in the description to learn more. As Lance said, we're looking for your feedback. So uh, if you have feedback, let us know. If you have ideas, let us know. We'll put a link to the Fabric Ideas site as well. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.